Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com and CansecoCollector.com. This is the first video that I've done since I uh, announced my retirement of collecting Jose Canseco baseball cards. So it's been way too long for me to get back up here on YouTube. So I figure I'd just uh, uh, say hi to everybody. And uh, I wanted to answer a couple questions for some folks as well. I've been getting a lot of questions. There have been hundreds and hundreds of people that have actually written in uh, to me asking questions and writing comments and telling me about their stories. So uh, I wanted to kind of use this video as almost like a blanket response to a lot of folks. I try to respond to everybody um, as quickly as I can, but there's still some people out there that, you know, they're, they still have other questions or anything. So I figure this would be a good good way to answer. So let's get to it. So the first uh, first question is, are you still collecting? I am not collecting Jose Canseco baseball cards, but I am collecting baseball cards. Uh, I'm not really actively completely collecting baseball cards. I'm not and really collecting. Uh, the collecting that I'm doing right now looks absolutely nothing like the collecting that I did with Canseco at all. So um, I pick up uh, unopened boxes of wax from like the 80s for the most part. And to be honest, I haven't actually purchased anything until yesterday, I think it was, or two days ago, whenever that came in. So uh, what came in was this. It's a from a, uh, from a sealed case, 1982 Fleer box. And I actually uh, got this. It's great condition. Um, I got this using eBay bucks. So I guess on the on the, the backs of the my old Conseco purchases for the most part. And there was like a $25 coupon uh, on eBay. So I didn't have an A2 Flare box yet. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick up this. And this, I am not joking, y'all. This is like my first uh, purchase of cardboard in probably, I don't know, like over a month or something. So it's kind of weird. Um, but I have, uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I, I've enjoyed kind of more of what I've had. Uh, so... And I've also enjoyed just going through the Kinseco cards I have as I'm selling them. So next question is, how is the selling coming? The selling's coming great. It's uh, going really well. It's kind of slowed down compared to what it was in the first week or two. Uh, but there have been a lot of cards I've sold. And uh, the first three, four, five, six days, I think it was, it seemed like I was getting out 20 or 30 packages a day. Um, and it was fun to relive those cards when I was packing up, but not so fun to pull them from the collection and pack them up and ship them out and drive them over to USPS and that sort of thing. So I don't think anybody really enjoys that part of the, of, uh, you know, the sales process, but, uh, you know, it's been going really good though. It's, uh, I have a heck of a lot more to go. So, um, I would say probably about 25% of my collection is gone now. But with that said, um, like for instance, the one of ones, I think I've sold about 31 of ones, but I've got 200 or so of them left. Uh, I've got over 900, I think it is, uh, game used and autograph cards that are still left over all kinds of 90s stuff and oddball inserts. So it's, uh, I, I'm in it for the long haul. It's going to be quite a while. So, uh, the next question is where can I see the cards for sale and yeah, where can I see the cards for sale and how do I buy? So I haven't really put a whole lot of things up on eBay, like one or two, just to let everybody know that my cards are for sale. But uh, it's if you go to www.consecocollector.com, almost literally everything you see up there is for sale. And the way that you can buy it is you don't click a buy it now button for anything. You just email me, uh, tanmanbaseballfan at gmail.com and ask. And so I'd be happy to tell you what the price is. And that's really kind of where a lot of my time has been spent also is just quoting prices, which is fine. Um, as far as the pricing goes, I try to be as, as good as I can to folks. Um, the majority of the cards I'm selling, they're selling for typically around what I have into them. And I've actually done really well as far as what I've bought a lot of these cards for. Um, a lot of times I wouldn't be the high bidder on some like super duper rare cards because I knew that I was gonna you know do better if I just you know kind of hung off of those a little bit and you know just did uh, private sales that sort of thing so um, the people that are buying these cards they're actually getting a pretty darn good deal as well so um, if you see anything you like then you know just let me know I'll be here and be happy to, uh, to answer your questions as far as pricing goes uh, the next question is um, are you trying to sell everything or piece by piece 
it'd be great to sell everything in one shot, but I'm going to be honest, probably nobody out there is going to have the money to, to buy the whole thing in one shot. So uh, I've been doing it be, uh, piece by piece. And yeah, like I said, it's been going great. So I would anticipate maybe I have about a year's worth of stuff to go. So there's, there's a lot, a lot left. Uh, the next question is, uh, are you giving out COAs? <laughs> so, okay. So this is a kind of a, kind of an interesting question here. I, I had no idea that this is going to be actually something, but some people started asking me for like a certificate of authenticity that the cards are actually coming from my collection. Uh, I had no idea that anybody would really care about this whatsoever. Um, and I expect probably the majority of people don't, but I got to say, it's crazy flattering to hear people ask that. Yeah. So to answer your question, yes, I am giving out COAs, uh, with my picture. Actually, here's, here's kind of what it looks like. It's just piece of paper and then I'll sign it, you know, saying thanks for purchasing these from my collection. Um, I don't give them out to everybody. I only give them out to the people that ask because I feel like it's a little presumptuous uh, on my behalf, if I give it to somebody that doesn't ask for it, I don't, I think people, if they're not asking for it, they're going to look at it and go, wow, this guy's really into himself. I'd be happy. And I am just, I'm super happy to be able to give this to folks who, who want it. I mean, that's like I said, crazy flattering, very happy about people even asking and caring enough, uh, that's coming from my collection into theirs. Um, so, and believe me, it's, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't be happier as far as that goes. So, uh, but if you do want one, please ask. I don't want to give it to somebody that doesn't care or doesn't want it or thinks I'm a knucklehead for doing that to begin with. Um, the next question is, uh, and this is kind of where it gets a little weird, uh, because I almost feel like I'm answering questions from beyond the grave, you know, the, beyond the grave of the super collector. Um, so the, I, I'm kind of enjoying this part of it, but the question, do you regret selling? I do not regret selling. Um, I'm very happy. I think I made the absolute right uh, decision. And I think this is an important question to answer on camera here because out of all the hundreds of people that have written me, um, I have found out that there have been a boatload of people that have been asking the same questions inside their head. Should I get out of this? Should I quit? Should I pare down? And apparently a lot of people, um, because of me coming out, like this have decided to, you know, step it back, you know, step back a little bit. And I think it's fantastic. I mean, if it's, if cardboard's overtaking your life, then man, there's so much more important in life than, uh, than cardboard. So maybe not so much more, but there are a few things that are, they're more important. Um, so to answer the question again, I don't regret it at all. Uh, every now and then I'll start thinking about some cards that I had that are not in my collection anymore. And it's fine because I have the memory. I've got a scan of it. So I would recommend, by the way, if you're thinking about getting out, uh, take, take a nice picture, you know, do a nice photo shoot of the pictures of the cards that you have that you really like. They're very special to you. So you, you don't necessarily have to have the actual card uh, to enjoy it, to enjoy the memory, to have the memory because memories, they don't take up any, any space and they don't cost you anything either. So that's the way that I look at it. And I love going on my website to read about the articles uh, that I've written on certain cards whenever I pick them up. So um, that's another thing. Um, in your collecting journey, I recommend you uh, you journal about it. You know, just write down all the cool little stories because you know as well as I do, there's all kinds of fantastic stories of, uh, of getting that one elusive card that, you know, always seem to get away until the last time that you finally picked it up and everything. So, um, yeah, there's, there's one thing that uh, every now and then I'll have some people send me some cards over because there've been a lot of releases recently, um, that tops has done. And, uh, I think, uh, series two, there's been museum, uh, Allen and Ginner stadium club, that stadium club card. Oh man, it's such a cool card. The Allen and Ginner, you love the Allen and Ginners. Um, Allen Ginner's doing, uh, glow in the dark cards. Houdini from blowout showed me one of those. And that's cool. You know, like I was like, man, I wish that they did the glow in the dark stuff uh, last year, but, uh, that'll probably help me to, you know, uh, do some sort of uh, custom work with glow in the dark cards in the near future at some point, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's a lot of stuff that's coming out, and I, it's almost like a sigh of relief that I give um, that I haven't been uh, collecting over the past, uh, I don't know how long it's been, month, month and a half or something like that. 
Um, it's, uh, it's been great because number one, my anxiety level has gone down quite a bit because I'm not always obsessively looking at eBay or, uh, the forums or social media, you know, did somebody tag me in Facebook, which by the way, that is one thing I really do miss. I, I love that people cared so much to tag me on every Conseco item on social media. That was fantastic. And I loved it so much. So if you did that for me, thank you so much. You, there are people that still do it just for the heck of it, just for fun. And, and I get a kick out of it. So I never get sick of it. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. Um, so the next question, and I guess this is the last question. Uh, what are some positive things that have come out of this? <sighs> hmm. Uh, I want to start off by saying some of the negative things, like uh, just to get those out of the way. Every now and then I'll have somebody that just tries to rip me apart. You know, say, hey, uh, you know, why do you have to come out and, and do some huge production all over the forums about your uh, your retirement and everything? It's so stupid sounding. And, uh, and it doesn't feel too good when people say that. I mean, I don't even know why people would waste their breath to try to hurt somebody's feelings like that. But um I guess they don't know me. That's how I do. You know, I've, I've been, uh, I've been doing these, uh, articles and stories for like five years now. So I'm not going to stop. So that's kind of just a little bit of a, of a warning to the folks that out there that might not really like me all that much is, um, yeah, I'm not really going to slow down. I'm going to keep writing. So, uh, if you see anything that I write and you don't like me all that much, just feel free to just scroll on by. You know, that's going to be the easiest thing because I'm always going to be here. <laughs> um, now getting on to the positive things. I, this is probably the best part of it all is I've been able to, um, offer some sort of, I don't want to say counsel advice. Maybe I think it's probably better advice for folks that they're actually neck deep into something really bad, like with their collecting, with their addicting, with their addiction rather. And a lot of it also is not just addiction with cardboard, but there've been folks that have come forward that have had addiction with other things as well. And just asking for prayer, um, and uh, advice. And I'm very, um, I am not equipped whatsoever to help out as a counselor or anything like that, but I am so more than happy to, you know, give my advice, any advice that I can, uh, if that helps out at all. I have obviously a very addictive personality, so at least I can be a friend and say, hey, I've been there and uh, here's what I've done and uh, here's how I've handled certain things. So um, I've, I've been uh, amazed by the sheer volume of people that have uh, told me about this. So if you if you think that you're in the shoes that I was in, um, I want to let you know right now you're not alone, and it's not just me and you. There's a bunch of people out there that they're saying, "Man, uh, I'm choking on cardboard right now," uh, or something else on you know when it comes to collectibles. Uh, it can it can tend to take over your life a little bit, uh, and not that it took over my life or anything personally, but um, I want I just I did want to address that a little bit as far as uh, what I've been hearing from other people. So it's been great that I've had a lot of support from a lot of people out there. I have never gotten so many emails and instant messages and texts or anything as I have in the past. Uh, a couple of weeks, which has been awesome. I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed that uh, people can appreciate what I'm going through and, I, and what I have gone through. Um, and it's, you know, like I said, this whole thing is it's just it's just baseball cards. You know, it's a uh, it, it should be a fun hobby, and I will promote that till the day I die, probably to, to um, enjoy the collection. But once it gets over a certain line, you know, just uh, reevaluate. You know, at the very least, reevaluate. So. I guess I'll end with that. If you have any questions or anything at all, please feel free to email me, tanmanbaseballfan at gmail.com. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you might have um, or give some sort of support or advice or something. You know, I mean, we're all in this together, right? So um, it's uh, it's been a ride. It has been one heck of a ride, even selling. I mean, it's just, it's been nuts. So I don't regret it at all. I don't regret it one bit. So I'm very happy to be able to be on camera here to tell you that today. Um, and also, of course, uh, like I said, uh, I've got a boatload of awesome Jose Canseco baseball cards for sale. If you want to check out uh, CansecoCollector.com and let me know if you want anything there. So it is 5.55 now on Friday evening. So I will sign off and uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend.